is copy your project. You're going to have multiple versions and I'll teach you that in class in a second, like what versions you have to construct. But essentially you go on projects and I have a lot, but this is my new, my new survey, the one I just created. And if I hit copy project, I can copy my project, give it a new name, version two, and just, just copy my project. And then I can edit it as needed and change all sorts of things. You can see I have two projects. I can click on um, version two and one. They're identi identical right now. It's the same thing I just did. That's going to come in very handy. Now, another thing that I think is rather cool is distributions. So eventually, eventually when you're done, you're going to publish it. I'll show you that button in a second. But you can get a single reusable link and send people to your project. So you can get this single reusable link and send it out to people. I don't do that until I publish it. Right now, it's, it's keeping track of my data. And I think this is really interesting. It takes some time for it to do this. Even though it just did it for me, it just had some in there. Um, the responses I'm looking for do not exist. That's fine. Oh, because I'm in version two. Yes, yes, yes. So here, um, skip that. There's no, there's no, let me go back to my projects. I'm going to click on the one that I was playing with earlier. My normal my normal project, but you saw how to create a, a second one. Now you look at the data and the analysis for your, um, you can see it, it's recording all the data. You can see that it's going to show us some results. I'm going to skip that. I don't care about those details. It shows me some results here. There are ways to um, download your data. I'll show you that in a second. You got your reports. There are no reports. I could create a report, but I'm not going to do that. Reports are fun, but not for this class, okay? Um, so then import, export. You would just export your data, and you can choose what you want here now. Excel is probably the easiest. I like CSV myself. Um, I will show you, I'll show you more detailed how to get your data once you build it. So we're not going to worry about that. But essentially, these are all your options. Um, I showed you how to copy, uh, you know, one of your um, surveys, one of your experiments, because you're going to need to do that. I showed you how to distribute it, how to get your email link. Um, I showed you how to look at the data, how to even download it if you want, and you can figure it out. Um, well, I'll give a more advanced tutorial on how to download things and also showed you how to look at some results and so forth. The one thing I didn't show you how to do was to publish, but we go back to our survey. And if you click publish, you will, you will make it live and people can do it and it'll remove all your old data from, from it right there. So this is a very useful program. This is a Qualtrics introduction. And that's basically the end, the end of the Qualtrics introduction. So that you should be able to use this for your project.